This LP will contain the extreme violence mod, so viewer discretion is advised. Hey, my PYTs, my Punch gang. Welcome back to your girl's channel. I am Punch Bree PYT. You know me. If you don't know me, welcome to Punchinella Games. I hope you enjoy the show. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave your girl a lovely comment down below. By the way, I am now live streaming on Twitch sometimes, so you guys definitely head over to Twitch and follow your girl so we can interact live, okay? Currently, I'm doing the Too Many Toddlers scenario, and yeah, uh-huh, it's crazy. I did upload that video to YouTube, though, if you want to check it out, but um, I will be trying to live stream very soon, so you guys should definitely go over there and follow your girl so we can hang out. So today, y'all, I am bringing you episode one of Black Widow, the remix. This is the remix. If you don't know, me and the lovely Miss Sasha Space are doing this challenge together. We added some different rules to it to make it a little bit more challenging. If you want to know more about that, go check out the intro video. In that video, I went over all the rules that Sasha and I collaborated with and um, I go over how we're going to play it and how we remixed it and made it, you know, basically made it harder for ourselves. <laughs> so yeah, definitely go check out that video as well. But today y'all are going to actually get to meet our lovely Black Widow and um, I'm hoping I can get her a date with this guy I got my eye on, okay? He looked like he got monies. And, you know, so that's what we're doing. We're, we're going after guys with monies. We're a gold digger. <laughs> All of that, okay? So um, let me introduce you to our Black Widow. This is Tabitha Colebrook. Tabitha was created by one of my bestest, bestest friends, my little sister, Aaliyah. Um... She made this beautiful sim for me. It wasn't intended for Black Widow. She was just making sims. And I was like, bro, this is the vision I have. I got a user. <laughs> so um, yeah, shout out to my little, my little sis for making this for me. I appreciate it so much. She makes some of the cutest little sims. And I love to let other people make sims because, you know, they try different stuff that I don't try or they do, you know, things I might not have done, right? And I, I like to have the variety. So, yep. Shout out to my boo. Love you. Okay. So, um, Tabitha is a gold digger. Like I said earlier, um, she lives way above her means. Okay. You can see by her apartment, you know, that she does. Everything in here is name brand, um, decorations and bags and purses and clothes honey everything got a name on it everything everything she does not go nameless <laughs> at all and she's low-key obsessed with Versace <laughs> and yeah she's just she's that girl I mean she's that girl this is her apartment like I said I did do a video um, decorating this if you want to get a better look at it you can check that video out um, but yeah, she's, she's just that, she's that girl. She has, she wants to, you know, have the glitz and the glamour. Unfortunately, she can't afford any of these things, but she lives this lavish lifestyle as if she can. Let me show you her neighborhood, child. <laughs> 
So she lives in Evergreen Harbor. <laughs> and she is not in the best of neighborhoods, okay? They got trash on the street. And I know that I know that probably bothers her to her core. But that's what she can afford because she spends all her money on, you know, clothes and bags and shoes and jewelry. So we have $1,500. We don't really have much. She actually has a maid that comes in and cleans this little tiny apartment, child. So... <laughs> You see what I mean when I say, you know, she's, she bougied out. Okay. And, um, she's running out of money basically. So whatever moves she's going to make with these dudes, she needs to make them quickly because she's legit finna be completely in debt. She already owes rent and the money is dwindling down based on, um, you know, the different loans and stuff she's taken out to buy these lavish things. <laughs> so let's hop right on into this, y'all. I'm excited. And um, of course, you guys definitely go check out Sasha's um, episode as well. We're going to try to keep it lined up and go for um, the same guys, which you guys are donating to us. This first guy is going to be our guy. And this, the two through 10 will be guys that are um donated to us so if you want to donate a sim for us to take out <laughs> let us know so we can put them in our game and have them so um yeah but definitely go check out her episode go check out her channel all together sasha is the sweetest ever and her channel is so good and amazing and funny she's just a, a great person i really cherish her friendship and I, I can't I can't boost her enough. You guys have to go check out her channel and check out her um her Black Widow and what she's doing too. <laughs> so yeah, but let's jump on in this game. I've talked enough. So let's jump on in this and let's go get our men. <laughs> okay. So Miss Tabitha is looking quite adorable, if I must say so. I low key want to put her in something else and I might. But anyway, so I want to go on her phone and I'm going to see if I can match her up with um, this guy that I have uh, my eye on. See if she can start communicating with him, maybe go on a date or something, you know, and get it started because otherwise I'm going to have to go hunt him down. And quite frankly, we don't have no money. We ain't got no gas money. So, <laughs> Ronaldo. I want to meet Ronaldo. Ronaldo is cute and he looked like he got money, honey. So, <laughs> let's let's see if we can start communicating with him. It says you have matched this person on Love to Meet. You can now send them a private message and find them under the My Matches category. Happy flirting. Ooh. Oh, look. He's even in our contacts. Yes. So let's send him. Let's send him a um. Let's send him a flirty message and see if he bites. And if he doesn't bite, we gonna bite him. It is so ordered. I am not taking no for an answer at all. So did that? Oh, it did make our meter go up. Oh, what else can we do with him? Can we go on a date or something? Let's see. My matches. What did it do? Does it just send him another message? I think I just sent him another message. Is there any way? Let's see. Send send funny joke. Send flirty message. Yeah, let's send him a flirty message. Look at her. She already getting ready. <laughs> She's already getting ready for this. <laughs> And let's see. Okay, so our meter has gone up already a little bit with Ronaldo. So let's chat with him. And maybe we should invite him over. Would that be too forward? I mean, but I mean, look at who we are. I mean, there's no such thing as too forward, right? I mean, what does that even mean for somebody like her? I mean, I'm going to invite him over, I think. Let's see what he says. I'm gonna send him a text after. We low key like a bugaboo though. <laughs> like we done met him online, we done already called, and we gonna send a text. Like we are not, <laughs> we are not giving him any room to breathe, okay? Like, no. 
we 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 are putting our claws in him oh i'm kind of hungry hey i know the way to a man's heart right let's see if we can invite him over and then we're gonna cook but we don't know how to cook so I mean, you know, cooking is kind of beneath us at this point. Like, she does not cook. That's not her thing. But in order to get him hooked, you know, sometimes you have to pretend like you know what you're doing when you don't know what you're doing, you know? So let's find, let's do something easy like a, oh man, I went to the wrong, girl, where you going? The outfit is cute as hell. <laughs> the outfit is so cute. Oh my God. She gets on my nerves. <laughs> no, we're not going to talk to him. We're going to talk to this one. Let's invite in. We're just going to make a salad, y'all. You know, because you can add toppings to salad and make it look like you did something special when it's really just lettuce and some crispy onions or something, you know. Let's do a garden salad, a family size. Yeah. So, you know... She, she's pretending to be a little bit different than what she is at this point. Come on in, Ronaldo. Hello, dear. Hello, darling. And she's like, oh, I love to cook. It's so much fun. Her oven has never been turned on, okay? She's that girl. <laughs> girl, you know you ain't never cooked on that oven. <laughs> Your stove clean. And she's like, yeah, I cook all the time. You know, I, I, it, it relaxes me. It's so much fun. And he's like, you know, where do you cook? And she's like, uh, salad, uh, pop tarts. And <laughs> now I'm playing. I'm, I'm, I'm not playing though, because she's that girl. You know what I'm saying? Like she's out here, you know, perpetrating, trying to get this man. <laughs> Please don't cut your nails. But she is, she's so cute though. Like, I feel like it's going to be very easy for her as visually to get these guys. I don't think it's going to be any problem. And he is so cute. He also was made by my friend Aaliyah. Thank you, Lily. And like I said, she makes the best looking Sims, y'all. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> He's so cute. And he's so cute that I hate that I have to kill him, you know? I really do. It's it's a little sad for me. But, you know, we got to do what we got to do to get this money. So, what does it say? Your fridge is running away. Aren't you going to catch it? Boy, bye. Stop playing on our phone. We over here on a mission. And you're getting on my nerves. Not her still having an introduction. Really? How weird is that? Y'all seen her chatting it up at her kitchen table and then let this man in your house and you haven't introduced yourself? That's weird. Top of the code book shows signs of the lover and greedy personality, period. Yep. Lover sims crave intimacy, live to experience pleasure, and are very passionate. Greedy sims focus on generating as much revenue as possible. Yep. It's accurate. Ooh, poison food. I already know. <laughs> the ideas that are running through my mind right now. What? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. That's a good one. As long as we don't accidentally eat a plate. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Uh-uh. Now, you know, you cute, but you're not that cute. We are trying to get to know you and you on your phone. We just cooked you dinner. I mean, I know it's just a salad, but I'm just saying, we, we just cooked you dinner. Thank you. He respectful, he know what's up. I can't believe she cooked this man a salad. <laughs> she can't. <laughs> ah, but look at all the little toppings though. See, that's what I was talking about. You add a little mushroom, little tomato and stuff. And it looked like you really did something. Um, let's get on his romantic meter here. Let's be flattering. Let's be flattering. I think we need to, um, Tom the News persuasion skill will help her to influence other Sims' beliefs and behavior against their mind. Ooh, 
the ammunition I am acquiring here. I am feeling every bit of it. Give apartment key? No. <laughs> Not yet. Um, let's flirt with him. See how he accepts that. Okay. He liked it. <laughs> she has acquired the romance skill. Look, I'm telling y'all. Like, she is going to be something different all right she about to have these guys all twisted let's see here what do we have fresh and frisky from attempting romance while in clean surroundings yeah everything's gonna be clean she has a maid of course it's gonna be clean tap problem is she don't have no money to pay this maid so I wonder if we can ask him for a little change and she's willing to do something strange for the change by the way she has no problem with that let's see ask for money because we, we're friends now we're friends now can you ask for money what does that say too full of yourself uh oh uh oh this other sims heirs of being full of themselves are not gaining them any favor in tabitha's eyes Ooh, y'all let's read these sentiments honey okay so she perceives him as attractive romantic interest is too early to tell but this could definitely be something um tabitha's sentiments about ronaldo first impression egocentric so she thinks he's like super duper full of himself um on first impression the sims appears egocentric to a fault yeah and he thinks she's funny and has a good sense of humor it's not like she really can 22 dollars it's wait a minute is there another way of asking for money because it was great seeing you i have to go now no 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 Wh wait a minute darn it we made you salad <sighs> Let's put away the leftovers. So I'm not going to chase him down. <laughs> not going to chase him down. He's already in our web, honey. <laughs> already in our web. And she is, she's feeling something though. Not the self woohoo though, sis. You could have just asked him. You're right. All right, she's finished with that. <laughs> so let's come on in here and get ready for bed. Let's use the restroom. Let's take us a, let's take a cold shower. Let's cool off a little bit because we don't have nobody to use that on right now. And <laughs> ain't no need of being hot and bothered. Let's brush our teeth for the night. And then in the morning, we're gonna ask him out for like brunch or something like that. And I mean, we 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 got this. We got this. Oh, let's send him a text before we go to sleep too. Send a flirty text. Not you putting on her black, this is her black widow um, alter ego girl. This, oh, she's not flirty anymore, so she can't send it. But when she get ready to go in for the kill, this will be her look. I know, I know. So let's send him, let's, let's just send it on the app. Let's send him. Let's send him a flirty message. Send flirty message on the app. And then we're gonna go to sleep. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. Okay. I see you're in a good mood. Maybe we should head out and grab a drink. Well, I mean, if you say so. Look at here. Mm -hmm. She thought she was gonna go to sleep. Nope. <laughs> Yes, he falling right into our spell. We have made it to this little bar. Let's go on in here and sit down. First of all, let's make us a little group. Wait, where did he go? 
not him disappearing on us. You know, I'm gonna invite him to come back. And if he doesn't come back, I'm gonna make his, I'm gonna make his demise real special. Oh, okay. Y'all like her outfit? <laughs> Does it does it does it does it speak to you? Is it is it saying what what we're doing here? <laughs> okay, there he is. So call over, come on over. This is an interesting little bar. It's cute. There he is. So can we flirt a little bit? How about we? Compliment his appearance. You're looking really good tonight. All these other women are in my way. How about that? Let's embrace. Let's embrace him. I mean, we got to move on in. Self failure. Uh oh. Not a self failure. <laughs> Girl, you ain't even. <laughs> Never mind. I ain't even gonna say nothing. Oh, okay. He feeling us. We know. We already know. And we're going to, let's confess attraction and see if he bites. Sir, sir, we're, we're trying to, come on now. Snob lesson, Tab Tabitha is a snob. Snob sims love to critique the work of others and prefer the companionship of fellow snobs. I'm about to, I'm about to critique her piano playing because she's, distracting what I came to do. Let's exchange numbers even though we already have each other's number. <laughs> this little this little place is so packed. All I mean it's like a hundred people in here. We need to go somewhere quiet and intimate. No ma'am see why would you do that? Exactly now let me go a step further and discuss future together. I think I might be moving too fast. <laughs> I might be moving a little too fast. Am I? Am I? Am I? No. Why do y'all do that? Go away. Oh, invite to stay tonight. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Invite to stay tonight because we're getting tired. Look like we have look like we have another sentiment. Let's see. Oh my god. Deeply in love? They're deeply in love? Oh my goodness. Already? We only know one thing about them. <laughs> love birds, a connection of curious hearts. This is shaping up to be a beautiful romance. Isn't it though? I mean, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling that. A sleepover sounds great. Yeah, if that's what you want to call it. Let's go home and enjoy the rest of the night. It's one in the morning. All right, so we've made it home. We are headed upstairs to our little humble abode. It's really not humble, but she's actually really tired. But I can't let her go to sleep quite yet because I have a couple more things for her to do. And um, yeah, I need her to seal this deal. No, I mean, you can keep your pajamas on, but but wake up. Oh, look, this is her inspiration right here. This, this girl, <laughs> if you've ever seen Beauty Shop, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's our idol. <laughs> that character is her idol. <laughs> we need to like cuddle or do something. Oh, let's have our first kiss. Can we have our first kiss? First kiss. Oh, sorry. Y'all know I gotta get, y'all know I gotta get the picture. She's having her first kiss. This is not her first kiss. This is her first kiss with him. <laughs> that's the one. That's what that is. That is not her first first kiss. I am not crazy. The games this girl be rolling with. This is not her first kiss. Let's embrace him again. And let's see what else we gonna do. 
not discuss having a baby. I mean, that would be a good way to keep him locked in though. Hmm, let's put I love talking to you. And then let's kiss his neck. Ah, oh, we finna stick our claws in him. <laughs> he is about to be putty in her hands, okay? Real quick. <laughs> I should not um, be this evil to um, <laughs> laugh at this. I shouldn't, but it's, it's, I can't help it. Look at her. Look at her. She thinks she's slick. Oh my gosh. She's like, you know, I'll do all these things, you know, to get him hooked. And then it's going to be over. Discuss meeting parents. Oh, not her still moving after I paused it. This girl is creepy. I don't care what nobody say. I told my friend when she made her, I was like, it's something really sinister about her. And I love it. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Yep. She got him. Mm -hmm. She got him. He is. He is got yep poor guy didn't have a chance mm -mm -mm. not a chance not a chance and i'm and, and i don't know if she is going to use him and by getting pregnant because that's part of the rules as well if you do get pregnant from your guys it is a bonus so yeah don't be surprised. But I'm gonna let them sleep and I will see you guys in the morning. Hey y'all, so we are back at the next morning. Um, unfortunately, I recorded this part and my mic wasn't on, so I missed all of everything I said. And I'm not happy about that. <laughs> but I'm gonna um, try to talk you guys through what is going on again. So Ronaldo left that morning and he called like 10 minutes later and was like can he come see her and she was like okay cool you know so he came right back over so he's definitely sprung honey and I think he just went home to change clothes and come back because <laughs> when he left he had on a different outfit and then he came back in this one so um they're really hungry and so we're gonna go to um a little restaurant to eat and I think it's like a little crab restaurant or whatever and we're gonna go get some food okay so we've made it to the restaurant and um this town is so pretty this whole save file this actually is a save file from Simlessy. I don't think I said that earlier um and I've been exploring each town that's been changed and it's literally so pretty and it's so different and I like it because it's it's just it's like having a brand new world, you know? And um, I appreciate it because <laughs> I would love to have different scenery and stuff when I'm playing, but girl, I would have to build all of that and that would take forever. Y'all would get this Black Widow in 2024, okay? <laughs> but um, we're gonna go inside and get a little table so we can have our little lunch date or whatever. And girl, Tabitha dressed up, didn't it? She was like, oh, we going on a date? Oh, I'm gonna wear my good outfit. You know, she has to, you know, make like, you know, she's so fancy and spanchy or whatever. You know, she's like, can I get a table please? The best one in the house. And could you please not sit us near the kitchen or the bathroom? Thank you. <laughs> you know, that's how she be talking when she in public. She be faking. <laughs> Oh, we do got a good table though. It was a good table. I would love that table on a boardwalk and you can see the scenery and stuff. It's cute. Super, super, super cute. So they're gonna order them some food and um, she's gonna get some wine for a drink and he's gonna get a screwdriver. And you know, I really wish like 
you could like choose who pays for the tab, you know what I'm saying? Instead of on the person who invited you or whatever. So I'm probably going <laughs> to ask him for the money back <laughs> so that she doesn't, you know, <laughs> lose it or whatever. And then, um, as far as food goes, she's going to get some seafood chowder and he's going to get some fish tacos because, um, both of those are very delicious to me and it's late and I could definitely eat that. <laughs> I'm, I'm a foodie. If y'all haven't, you know, guessed it by now, all of you who, um, watch my videos, if you haven't guessed, I am a foodie. I love to eat. It's like one of my favorite things. So, um, yeah, so they're going to order their food or whatever. And once they order the food, she's just flirting, flirting, flirting with him, trying to get, um, trying to get him under her, you know, wrapped around her little finger or whatever. And she actually asks him if he loves her. And he was like, uh, I don't know how to answer that. You threw me off with that question. And child, I was shook. I was like, that is so rude. <laughs> Because your sentiments say that you are deeply in love. And now you're saying, oh, you're thrown off by that question. Whatever. But that's what he said. So, um, she kept running her game, child. And, um, it eventually, it eventually worked. You know, it, it wasn't hard. <laughs> she doubted back a little bit and just, you know, went in for the kill. That's, that's all. And he was like putty in her hands. So, um, I decided to have her ask him to be Bay or whatever, to see if he would accept it. And like I said, he was like, yeah, actually I, 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 I chose. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. He said, yeah. <laughs> so they made it official and they are official boyfriend and girlfriend and they loving it. And I was taking screenshots left and right y'all. <laughs> because I need the receipts, honey. I need the proof of the pudding, okay? I have to have those, you know, for future reference. But anyway, um, yeah, it, everything was, everything went really, really well. And she did exactly what she wanted to do. She got him completely smitten with her, completely smitten with her. And so we spent the rest of the day taking pictures and selfies and cuddling and hugging and <laughs> um finally they got their food the food took forever honey like everybody was i mean it was it was ridiculous everybody around us was getting their food and we weren't getting our food and i was getting upset about it and then when they did get the food he didn't even eat his fish tacos like he left them there like really bro this is exactly why i want my money back period <laughs> this is exactly why i bought you them fish tacos and you did not even touch them are you serious bruh look at my tacos just gone to waste <laughs> and i low-key tried to put them in my pocket but it wouldn't let me <laughs> And they were getting more sentiments with each other. So um, they both still have deeply in love, but she was saddened by something with him. Um, I'm not sure what happens. Maybe when she asked him about um, if he loved her, I think that might've been it. But other than that, everything was the same. Um, and they still don't really know much about each other. <laughs> But they are in love, they're lovers, and they are just head over heels in love with each other right now. So after this little lunch or whatever, they kept trying to go to the kitchen to knock boots in these people's good kitchen, okay? Um, it happened twice, and I had to cancel the interaction. And this time I canceled it and sent them home because, bruh, Y'all can't be out. Y'all can't be in these people's kitchen doing that. Like, really? You're going to spoil the cheese. Like, what are you doing? You can't be in there destroying them people's kitchen like that. Just disrespectful. 
but <laughs> I did decide to um, send them to his place instead of hers um, so that she could see what he what he lived like and where he lived and he has a um, huge huge <laughs> penthouse in the middle of San Machuno um, it's so pretty like I would be mesmerized I ain't even gonna lie so I, I already know Miss Gold Digger is you know feeling it big time or whatever but um yeah so I brought them back so she can get a feel of that or whatever and see you know how he lives and where he lives and um actually meet his brother he does have a brother named Xavier um and Xavier better watch his back because y'all know how she is you know he'll be next on her list if you don't be careful <laughs> but um yeah, so finish what they started at the restaurant and she decides to, yeah, try to trap him. Yep, that's exactly what she did. And him like a duck followed her right on in there, child, and got got. Honestly, I don't know. I haven't checked yet if it worked at all, but um, we'll see in the next episode. <laughs> but she definitely tried. She definitely tried. She saw this penthouse and she was like, oh, I have to have it. I have to have it. I need the paper. I have to have it. So yeah, she did. And um, bless his heart, he don't have a clue. And I really feel bad, y'all. I really do. Like the more I play, the more I feel bad for these guys. Like they have no idea. Like they legit in love with her and don't realize that she has this ulterior motive to literally put them in the grave and take everything they ever had it's messed up it's so messed up it's funny but it's so messed up <laughs> it's it it's crazy but i'm enjoying it <laughs> what does it say about me though i mean really anyway so this is xavier um a little closer up there you guys can see him he's super cute too but um yeah so she's done what she's gonna do and then she decides to ask him to marry her and he accepted with his silly self like he accepted y'all can you believe it <laughs> He literally said yes. This girl walked in here and was like, ooh, penthouse. Ooh, let me get a baby and let me propose. And if he says no to the proposal, at least I have the baby. Like, bruh. I I I don't know where the, I don't know where this this challenge is gonna take me. This is just is just so much. <laughs> it's so much. And now she is out here about to go take her a nice bubble bath in this little jacuzzi tub on the balcony and look over the city and enjoy her new life like she's feeling herself right now like she's like oh i have it i've, I've done it i've accomplished it quickly i've accomplished it yeah it's it's crazy but um again guys i'm really sorry that i lost the sound in that second part I literally almost burst into tears when I realized there was no sound. <laughs> I had to get up and walk away and take a moment to gather myself. <laughs> but um, yeah, really sorry about that. But um, I'm going to end the episode here. And I just want to thank everyone for watching and subscribing. I appreciate you guys so, 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 so much. And if you haven't subscribed and you've been watching, then what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your girl. Hit the like button and leave me a comment. And y'all let me know what y'all think is going to happen. And let me know if you think her little trap, air quotes, worked in the comments below. Again, I appreciate y'all so, so much. I love you. And I will see y'all in episode two. Bye, PYTs. Champagne, Perrier. Finish friends on my face.